My name is Wumi Dou. I'm the director of Wazo Africa Music and Dance Theatre. It's an African dance company based in Calgary. And we do performances, events, uh, classes, workshops, and we also host International Dance Festival in Lagos, Nigeria, West Africa. It's a celebration of being an African. Everything kind of entails because I'm Africa. I love the fact that Africans can come together in unison, in unity, and do something like this. Bring culture, bring the taste, bring skits, bring entertainment, bring speakers to speak about Africa. It's very, very in, in, in enriching and as well as encouraging to be an African. It is to let people, not only people of African descent, it is to let people all over the world understand that um, in Canada, we practice multiculturalism, but we should be very, very careful because um, some cultures uh, might take precedence over other cultures. And so we are informing people from uh, African descent to understand that you have to understand that your culture is very, very important as well as other people's culture. So we have to celebrate this to show our diversity, to show what we have got, just like people from any other culture. So it is very, very important for my children and for the children of uh, other Africans. <laughs> judge who is going to be crowned the means because I am African because I am African and all of them are beautiful in their own unique way we're gonna give all of you guys the crown the African identity is as complex as the several factors that shape our identities it is very complex and Africa is a vast land of about a thousand languages, beautiful cultural surroundings, and beautiful people. Our leadership and begin to lead, whether it is in the schools, in our homes, in our communities, the time for taking up the mantle of leadership has come. Our young people, elementary schools, primary schools, post-secondary schools, high schools, the time has come for you to begin to re-emphasize and relive these experiences that were given to you. These values that have been deposited in you by your parents, by their great-grandparents, and by their grandparents, because it is part of the way life is supposed to be lived. Today, I encourage all of us, parents to begin to turn to their children and to begin to put in them these values that are already in us. To begin to manifest them wherever they are. It is time for our children to begin to look to us and to ask, Mom, what does this mean? What does it mean to become a person who can take care of my neighbor? A person who can support people and a person who can bring back to life the deadness that seems to take over our societies. This is the time for you and I, and all of us, to begin to call Africa, Africa. This is a time for us to begin to showcase, like things like this, who we are, what we are made up of, and what our identity looks like. When I was growing up, my mom used to tell me stories about kings, and I, I, I got a history lesson from my mom a, a few years ago, that our names were all named after kings and queens suggesting that we of African descent are people who originated from kings and queens. Powerful as they are, but humble in their doings with people. President Obama launched this initiative in 2010 to support young African leaders across Africa. Um, uh, Maria? Young African Leaders Initiative. That's right.
what the next what, what the next appointment is going to be. That and what will that be? Africa. Africa. <laughs> Africa. Yes. You mean you're gonna take Michael to Africa? <laughs> <laughs> Can you please have a seat so we can discuss this? How can I have a seat? It's right there. Michael is crazy, right? I heard you have a crazy. Can you please explain why you're taking him to Africa? Ha 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 ha, okay. This is Omrida. Africa is right here. Well, it's really a, a lot of hard work, really. Um, we had to, uh, we started, we actually thought about doing this just last month, so we had a month to prepare the whole thing, so it was a pushing, pushing, pushing every day. And what was it like to host an event like this? It was, it was very humbling for me. I was, I was honored to do. Like, why? Why is this so important? Like, what does this event mean to you? Okay. Well, this uh, event is really about bringing, it's uh, bring, bringing people together the African continent as a whole and people around the world also and it's displaying cultural cultural activities, dances and foods that we enjoy in Africa. So it's just about positivity and coming together as one really. It was amazing. <laughs> Knowledge. It was fantastic. We truly believed in this cause and we believed in this. Our, our happiness and our satisfaction supersedes it all so it was an amazing time. 